which is run out of water. It's a good time to do some tank cleaning. We use a uh, Pura tank from Yachticon. There is a quite a lot of growth in the tanks. So that's the state of a uh, second tank. Uh, you can see how much of algae is in there. We first scrubbed them clean, rinsed them a few times, we then added Pura tank and filled both tanks with water. After the solution did its magic, we could start using the water again. But it was only logical to change the freshwater plumbing while we were at it. The one we had was in a real state. What's up? Why are you sitting in a cupboard? I'm just trying to take one of those holes out. So when you work on a boat, you have to get used to working in very tight spaces, as you can see. <laughs> Cupboard is one of them. Nice. <laughs> you don't need a shower later on. Mm. On board Squalo, apart from the two water tanks under the seti in the saloon, which are around 480 liters uh, together. We have additional water tank which is uh, gravity fed and that's located in the galley up in here, I don't know if you can see. Uh, we've decided to clean this tank as well. When we were emptying it, it looked like it was blocked somewhere either along the pipes uh, or in the tank itself. So we decided to buy new pipes and um, change the old ones for the new. I mean, I'll show you the state of the old ones. They are pretty disgusting. So that's that. Let's see how filthy. We obviously don't want to drink water from that. Now you can see this is the old one. That's the old one versus the new one. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. see it in a camera that's a good comparison yeah between those two pipes that's, that's just great
using his rust and cut all the... So when Ziggy removed the sink, under the sink there was um, like a plywood attached. Uh, he was very curious what's behind because that was kind of unoccupied space and we didn't really know the purpose of it. So when Ziggy opened it, we found <laughs> this. It looks like a, um, a lead. Yeah. It's probably a yeah, extra ballast. ballast or something. Oh, it's quite a lot. Can you imagine if that was gold? We would be rich now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this was a gold, buying that boat would be best decision of my life. Best business ever. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want a drink from that? Well, we don't. You got it. So Ziggy is turning the boat upside down now. We immerse the tip of the pipe in hot water to stretch it and make the fitting easier. Going to heads in the Viber here? Yep. And so we continued in a similar fashion for the rest of the day. All in all, we changed all the freshwater plumbing. I think at this point it was pretty clear we were done for the day. The pier where we've been sat at is going to be demolished, so we were asked to move to a brand new one. The marina is in the middle of a super yacht expansion project. That means they are replacing the old concrete piers with a slime line into a floating finger platoon type, adding more berths to attract super yachts and building apartments over the water. Okay, babe, leave the line.
long, thin keel, Squalo is not always easy to maneuver in tight spaces. Guys from the marina came to help turn her bow in case she would decide not to. happy to hear that temporarily this pier is not needed, so we will have free water and electricity. Thank you very much.